Hello, say hi to a happy day, and enjoy listening while I read to you a story. The Three Little Pigs Once upon a time, there lived a mother so with her three little pigs. As she did not have enough money to look after them, she'd set them out into the world to seek their fortunes. As he was walking down the road, the first little pig met a man carrying a bundle of straw. Please, sir, give me that straw so I can build a house with it. The man gave the straw to the first little pig, who went and built a house with it. As he was walking down the road, the second little pig met a man carrying a bundle of sticks. Please, sir, give me those sticks so I can build a house with them. The man gave the sticks to the second little pig, who went and built a house with them. As he was walking down the road, the third little pig man met a man carrying a pile of bricks. Please, sir, give me those bricks so I can build a house with them. The man gave the bricks to the third little pig, who went and built a house with them. The three little pigs lived happily until one day when a big bad wolf came to the house of straw. The wolf knocked at the door of the house made of straw and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. The first pig replied, No, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, cried the wolf. So the big bad wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew down the house of straw. The first little pig ran as fast as he could to his brother's house of sticks. Presently, the big bad wolf came to the house of sticks. The wolf knocked at the door of the house of the maid of sticks and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. The first little pig and the second little pig replied, No, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, cried the wolf. So the big bad wolf huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he blew down the house of sticks. The first little pig and the second little pig ran as fast as they could to their brother's house of bricks. Presently, the big bad wolf came to the house of bricks. The wolf knocked at the door of the house made of bricks and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. The first little pig and the second little pig and the third little pig replied, No, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, cried the wolf. So the big bad wolf huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed, but he could not blow down the house of bricks. When the wolf realized that he could not blow down the house of bricks with his huffing and his puffing, he said, Little pig, I know where there is a nice field of juicy tasty turnips. Where? Asked the third little pig. In Farmer Brown's field, replied the wolf. I will call for you at six o'clock tomorrow morning, and we will go together to get some for our dinner. The next morning, the clever third little pig got up at five o'clock and went by himself to get the turnips. Are you ready to go get some turnips? asked the wolf when he arrived at the pig's house at six o'clock. Ready? I have already been and come back with a nice potful for my dinner, replied the third little pig. The wolf was very angry. He said, Little pig, I know where there's a nice apple tree. Where? asked the third little pig. In farmer's mitts's orchard, replied the wolf. I will call for you at five o'clock tomorrow morning and we will go together to get some juicy tasty apples. However, the clever third little pig got up at four o'clock and went to the apple tree. 
as he had further to go, he was still up in three picking apples when he saw the angry wolf coming. Little pig, come down and tell me if they are nice apples, called the wolf. They're very nice, replied the third little pig. Here, let me throw you one. And he threw an apple so far that the wolf had to go a long way to pick it up. And the little pig was able to jump down and run home. The next day, the wolf came and said to the third little pig, Little pig, there is a fair in town. Will you go with me at three o'clock in the afternoon? Very well, said the third little pig. The third little pig went off earlier to the fair and had a lovely time. He bought a butter churn and was heading home when he saw the wolf coming. In a panic, he crawled inside the butter churn to hide and it fell over. Down the hill it rolled. When he saw the churn rolling towards him, the wolf ran away in fright. The wolf went to the third little pig's house and told him how he'd been frightened by a great round thing rolling down the hills towards him. Dear me, I hid inside the butter churn when I saw you coming and it rolled down the hill. I'm sorry I frightened you, said the third little pig. The wolf grew angry and swore that he would come down the chimney and eat up the first little pig and the second little pig and the third little pig. But while he was climbing onto the roof, the third little pig made a blazing fire and put a big pot of water on to boil. As the wolf was climbing down the chimney, the third little pig took off at the lid and the wolf fell into the scalding water. The wolf howled and leaped so high that he jumped right out of the chimney. He ran off down the road as fast as he could. The little pigs lived happily ever after in the house of bricks and never saw the big bad wolf again. The end. I hope you enjoy listening to the story, The Three Little Pigs. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to listen to more of our favorite book stories. See you soon.